click on the subscribe button here. Okay, so subscribe to my YouTube channel. So we will be using um considering this shape quickly. These are two cylinders I met. You can see this is the front view and this is the front view. We want to know the stabilization curve that is one when it. So we have produced this shape on AutoCAD. And then the first thing we'll do is to um is to draw a circle at the center. Draw a circle at the center of um that's not the center. The center of this, let's draw a circle above it. This, that shape is 20, so we'll divide it to 20. And then we now have to share the circle into 12 parts. To do that, we'll take we'll draw a line from the center of the circle to anywhere that we just. So we would have to split this using array. Sorry about that. So we'll use um, polar array, take the source, and then modify it to 12. Enter. So what will happen is we'll trace each of these points with a line. Let's use uh, with a line to the, to the center, right? Okay. Each of these points we'll trace with a line. We'll trace with a line. Repeat that. So where the line meets uh, the circle. So we're we'll not trace the line to the front view. We we'll trace the line from where it meets the circle. We we'll trace it like that. Do the same for this next point. We'll trace it. Do the same for this next point. We'll trace it across. And then same for this last point. And then we we'll trace that across. Are we missing at any point? Oh, it's not any point. This. Let's do that again. Line. Yeah. So, we'll draw the same circle here, and this shape as well. But uh, we can kind of set this, let's offset. Let's set it to the point of um, 60. And then, let's, this time we're going to draw another circle. So, that's this shape, the diameter is uh, 40. It's 40, so we're going to draw the circle, so we'll set that by 40. By 40. No. Sorry, let's do it by 20. And then we draw an ellipse, even the center of this. Just like um, we did for that shape, we would need to do a line from the center. Let's take it up. We can take this away. And then we can divide that array, polar, start point, make that 12 as well. 12. So let's, um, we will not trace that line. So choose this line down. Or to prevent uh, that, what we can explain this a little bit off. So that's it. Uh, so we can copy this line, copy, just to make sure that uh, the lines are parallel. We have that point, we have that point, of course we have that point. We have this point. We have this point. And then we have this point. So we can now take note of where the lines meet. So let's take note of where the lines meet. We have here, there is a circle. We can copy that line. We have there, just to know we have that. We have this. We have this. So last is to join all these points with the curve. Find that you spin. Let's try spin. So
Sorry about that. So we write this point, that, and that. This means it's just um, it's keeping. Don't worry, we'll get it. So, we have a call, we can take off all the lines. Let's see. We can take all the lines. So, that's the interval representation call. This is the representation call. 